so hello everyone uh, i'm just going to talk about uh, how to add an external users into azure active directory and this is kind of uh, questions from a lot of customers coming that how we can add any users as a guest users into active directory and then how we can see this users into admin center and you mean like how they can accept so a lot of business users they are like uh, not much aware how to accept it and how to proceed with the pr proper invitation so let me go through that and I, I will try to show you something so if you see that i have a gmail account and then i want to add into this admin like uh, guest users into uh, azure active directory so what you have to do basically you need to go to the admin.microsoft.com and then once you go there then you will see panel called users left menu and then in left menu, what you need to do, click on the guest users, right? So the moment you say guest users, it will open some certain window here, right side. Then you need to click this particular. Then what happened, the moment you click it, it goes to portal.azure.com, right? And then here it says, select the template. And template is nothing, whether there are two ty type of template, either you can create an users or you can invite an users for this tenant. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to invite an users. So what I can do, I can give an email address and then I can say name, full name, right? And then I can say the first name, you can always type first name, right? And then here you can personalize some message like please accept this invite, right? And then you can do some certain things also, like you can assign this users to the particular group roles, right? And then you can whether block sign in. If later you can do block this users to sign in or not. And then you can select the users locations as well. So suppose this location is maybe say India, right? So maybe I can go here and select India, okay? User location, and then I can say job title. Maybe I can say vendor, department, sales, and company name. I say pro inception, right? And then here you can select the manager's role. So I don't want to do anything more here. Like let's go ahead and just invite it. These all are optional. You can just give email address and then you can start inviting the users and then must you guess you should give the names and all so it will be kind of proper identifications right so let's go and invite the users here the moment i invite it sent an invitation email to the users which we have entered here right let's go and see this invite users so it's trying to send an invitation to the users now we will wait for couple of seconds see in successfully invited users this means you just got a proper notifications let's go back to the users here right now if i go here so this is the let's say a spam no okay see this one this is the invite which we got right so let's go here and if you try to search this user See, this users will not be, it's there, right? Because it's invited right now. So if you see this one, just invited, so no more in use right now. So what you can do now, you can go to the particular email and then what you need to do, you need to accept it. So what is saying, Dishon Clark invited and now you want to in accept it. So what you need to do, read this very carefully and then if you accept the invitation you will send this one so what you can do you click here right and then moment you click this will open another window to accept the invitation and then it will say send the code and this send code what it does it sent an code to your email id right the moment you say send code then it will say ask you to enter a code so let's go back to your email and let's refresh back Give a couple of seconds. See, now we got a code here. So what you need to do, just copy this code and enter here and sign in. The moment you sign in, right? Now you say, ask for permission requested by, you need to follow this. You need to go and accept this permission. And once you accepted this permission, 
let's go so you will see access panel applications and uh, for that particular tenant in azure active directory so let's see if here is azure active directory and this is tenant id and this is the user's login address right so now you can see what apps has been assigned for this particular tenant to you everything you can see there now let's go and see my application.microsoft.com so there is no app assigned to you and create collections and everything so this is completely end-to-end -end invitation now let's back let's go back and see the users here now what you can do let's let's go and refresh this page right earlier this users was not there now i will go to guest users and i say right see here now the users are appear into the list so now this users can start using the system and we can assign everything here and there okay that's all to do Ex invite the users accept the users and then check the users into azure active directory thank you very much